What's up, YouTube? I'm feeling great, y'all. I'm in Phoenix, Arizona right now, and you're here with me, ain't you? Yes, you are. Big shout out to the Vols Gentlemen's Club, the Gentlemen's Club to be at each and every Thursday in Phoenix, Arizona. I had a great time, guys. Thank you. I had a fuck ton of fun. If you guys want to see what went down on that, description box below. Check it out on my OnlyFans account. I can't post. I really don't want to post any of that stuff on YouTube, right? Yeah, I don't want to do it. But it was fun. It was fun. It was fun. It was fun. So check it on out. There's a whole lot of booty in there, and I spent a lot of money. Hey. Hey. Took the day off yesterday from training. I feel great. My glycogen storages are full. I ate whatever I wanted. I had alcohol. I had candy. I had burgers. I well, I didn't have a burger. Um, I should have had a burger. Damn. Well, I had a sandwich, you know, like it was just a really good day to recharge, you know, because I've been locked in. And sometimes, you know, when you got when you guys are locked in, um, you gotta you gotta let yourself go a little bit, you feel me? Just to keep yourself sane. But anyways, right now I'm outside of lifetime fitness. If you can see that. Boom. Yeah, we are. So I'm about to bring you through the workout real quick. Gonna work on my chest and obviously do a little bit of cardio. Y'all ready? All right, let's go. All right, you two back with the next voiceover because we don't want to get copy written. All right, bench press, all about your grip, all about depth. Don't get too crazy about weight, but the weight did go up, but I'm not gonna, you know, showcase what I was doing there. Boom, we're on the machine with it. You know, machine work is often... I think overlooked, you know, people say that it's soft, but you can get a lot of work done and save your joints, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you're hurt, you can't work. You know what I'm saying? See, I'm pushing through uh, with a 225, you know, 190 pound on the side, I should say, because there's no bar. Um, this works your upper chest. Big shout out to uh, Blake Fit for showing me that one, bro. Thank you. You should definitely incorporate that into your training, bro. You know, you want to get a big chest? It's about the upper part of your chest. You should work entire the entire part of your chest, but... If you want to be imposing that top uh that top corner as blake fit says definitely works gotta work the back every time i train my chest i work my back as well again we're on a machine anything that goes back this way is going to work that rear delt as well um, which is a a lacking part for me so i like working this machine right here a lot of machine work today and then we do some regular flies now anything that's squeezing is going to work that middle indent of your chest you know, give you some more, some more definition right there. Um, just always remember, bro, like, it's about body fat. It doesn't matter if you're moving a bunch of weight. You got to make sure that your nutrition's in check. And you got to make sure you're getting your cardio in. But build that muscle there. Boom, boom. <laughs> um, I didn't have a cameraman for that one, guys. So I did a little bit of a lat pull down. Um, went pretty light because we, we did pull-ups, push-ups, and dips to start out as we do every single day. Um, you know, some low rows try to keep my posture you know real clean on that you know what i mean work them lats and yeah that was pretty much the workout now let's go ahead to the pool and let's see what the cardio session was looking like hope you guys enjoy it um it was something different you know low impact let's get it so they got a much better pool than the one back at the crib the one at the crib is more like a like a water park for kids i guess i'm a little biased i ain't got kids yet but um yeah it gives you a nice little feel uh for you know if you're in your 20s or 30s you know nice little vibe you can tell that this turns into somewhat of a party so i want to show you guys a little some um low impact but high intensity in the pool because why not you gotta save your joints bro so everything that we do is in intervals bro so right here um you can easily minimize the amount of stress that goes on your knees as opposed to you know jumping on regular land right so we'll start with a 30 second high knees we'll take a 10 second break then we'll go with a 30 second uh squat jump and then hmm, I think we'll do like some frog kicks for 30 seconds and we'll go for uh three rounds how about that all right i'm gonna go i'm gonna do this based off of memory like just my mind i'm thinking about it i don't know if we're gonna get 30 seconds but it's all good let's start two three four five six seven eight that feels so good nine ah. Ten. Oh. Woo! What the? Fifty. Sixty. There you go, cameraman. Okay, I see you working. Yeah, get them angles. Uh, uh. Woo! Now I'm gonna squat jump. Frog kick. 
I'm not a great swimmer, but whatever. Frog kicks. And as you can see, that's just one round, three exercises. And I can feel that, yo, in my cardiovascular, not my muscles. So you guys should definitely try this. I'm not gonna do the whole thing because <laughs> I don't want y'all to see me die like that, bro. Hope you enjoy it. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Big shout out to the cameraman, big dog. We'll be vlogging from your party tomorrow.